very different right so it all depends upon your own energies it all depends upon your own choices that you make what do you do to yourself make yourself better stronger as an individual to handle the crisis of life and that is what is the meaning of being selfish save yourself first before helping others one of the other very beautiful quote that i always tell people and it's one of my favorites so i i am an ardent admirer of mother teresa i had an opportunity and an honor to actually visit her uh, in the mother house many times uh, and in, even now whenever i go to calcutta i saw many of you are from calcutta it's a beautiful city it gives me joy just going to mother house and and sitting by her for hours together and uh, in one of her books she mentioned uh, that uh, when when somebody asked her when she won the nobel peace prize somebody asked her so what is the formula for world peace you know what she said she said something very beautiful she said only if each one of us goes home and takes care of yourself and your immediate family we all will be happy the world will be at peace and it happened during covid what were we told sit at home because if you go out you're going to harm others right we learned that lesson during covid right this was something mother teresa said many years ago and she said this is the reason this is the formula to world peace what is our problem today you know all our problems in our mind when do they start how do they start when we start comparing this guy has a job better than mine okay his girlfriend is more beautiful than mine or his boyfriend is more handsome than mine okay don't get me wrong um his children are going to harvard mine or not oh he's got a bigger car than mine oh he drives a lamborghini and i don't or you know his his car is slightly bigger than than my car right they always say right the grass is always greener on the other side this is where the problem starts we always have this comparisons in our head and then we start competing we don't worry about making ourselves strong enough or equipped enough to actually achieve what the other person has also achieved you want to buy a lamborghini on your life nobody can stop you from doing that if you decide it but you have to work for it just by keeping on saying that somebody else has a lamborghini i also want it you're not going to get a lamborghini in your life doesn't work that way right so when you what we tend to do is we start comparing ourselves with other people we have to worry about our own self we don't have to worry about what the other person has in his life or her life for that matter and that is something mother teresa told us very brilliantly that stop worrying about the other person start thinking about yourself and you'll be happy the world would be very happy you know i met i met uh, again um, very recently sadguru was in uh, who was in dubai for the save soil campaign right and uh, i was again invited for that show as well so he asked a very interesting question to the audience and he said uh, everyone wants to save the rainforest right we keep talking about climate change everyone wants to save the rainforest so what's the best solution to save the rainforest so a lot of people answered you know from the audience they said somebody said we should plant more trees somebody said we should do this somebody said we should do that put government regulations this that whatever you know what did sadguru say he said stay away from the rainforest it will take care of itself correct similarly you have to worry about yourself the other person will take care of himself so first create yourself strong enough to handle what the world is offering you before you start messing into other people's business we want to start messing in the other person's business from day one that's where the problem starts so the whole idea of be selfish is not to go and say that okay go kill the other person that's not what it is it is to say that make yourself strong enough make yourself equipped enough to actually handle the situations of life to handle the problems of what life is offering to you and how do you do that in frankel's opinion there are three ways of taking care of it number one take care of your creativity now we saw some wonderful people here dancing singing some people said i'm a singer some people presented dances 
beautiful you know you have to have a creative side to yourself if you don't have a creative side to yourself start focusing on it and when i say creative side doesn't mean that you have to be the next picasso or the next michelangelo or the next madonna or the next salman khan or whatever no even if you are a bathroom singer you know vent yourself out it is very important for you to ignite to take your mind away because when you sing when you dance when you when you do something that's not related to your work your mind goes on a different tangent you know my creativity is cooking i don't cook every day unfortunately but whenever i am stressed you will all 